Hi, it's Kip K from Make Magazine. If you were involved with computers to any degree in the 90s, then there's probably a good chance you owned or used one of these, the iOmega Zip Drive. Well, it's time to go into your closet, dust yours off and bring it out because I'm gonna show you a few different things you can do to give new life to this old outdated Zip Drive on today's weekend project. Back in December of 2005, PC World Magazine published an article, The 50 Greatest Gadgets of the Past 50 Years. And believe it or not, the iOmega Zip Drive was on that list. Then six months later, they published an article, The 25 Worst Tech Products of All Time. And the iOmega Zip Drive was also on that list. Well, back in its heyday, it was 100 meg or 250 meg of storage, and that could be 70 or more of the little floppy disks. But nowadays, with thumb drives and CDs and DVDs, the storage capacity of this zip drive is pretty much outdated. Now, iOmega sold tens of millions of these drives, but you may have been one of the thousands who received a drive that suddenly made the click of death sound, which meant that this drive was pretty much dead. So let's do some stuff with these zip drives. First thing we're gonna do is make a sneaky hard drive storage case. The only tool you'll need to open up a zip drive is an impact wrench. Okay, only kidding. All you need is a screwdriver. Now you'll see two slots on one side. Push the screwdriver in those two slots and half of the case will come apart. And then there's a slot on the other side which will completely release the top part of the case. There's a small latch you pull back, which will allow you to push the drive mechanism back, and this will give you access to the front cover tabs, and then the drive mechanism just basically pops right out. Depending on the version of the drive you have, there should be a ribbon cable, and then a couple of connectors that need to be unplugged, and then the whole drive assembly will come out. If you do nothing else with this zip drive, at least salvage the parts inside. You'll find a motor, a solenoid, some magnets, a couple of steel rods, and a bunch of springs and screws, all worthy of your parts bin for future projects. Oh, and don't forget the 5 volt, 1 amp wall wart. Throw that in a box with all your other AC adapters. I found that my USB enclosure case for a 2.5 inch hard drive fit perfectly inside the zip drive housing. In order to get it to work hidden inside the zip drive, I took a USB cable and cut off one end and stripped the four wires. Then I chose four pins on the serial connector that's attached to the main board of the zip drive. After unsoldering those four connectors, I soldered the four wires from my USB cable to it. Then I took the serial cable that came with the drive and cut off one end, and this is where it gets a little tricky. Using a multimeter, I had to ohm out the four connectors to identify which of the small little wires led to my USB cable. After figuring out which four they were, I attached another USB cable to those four wires, heat shrunk them together. Now I have what looks like a serial cable coming out of the back of the zip drive, which actually turns into a USB cable, which I can plug into my computer and access my hidden hard drive. Seeing a gutted out zip drive case made me think immediately about a new type of project enclosure. You can paint one the color of your choosing, add some connectors, switches, LEDs, and anything else you want to stick inside the enclosure for a new type of project enclosure from your zip drive. For this one, I needed to close off the two holes in the end cap that the serial connectors go through, so I cut out a piece of the heat shield that you'll find in some zip drives and blocked off the end. Then you can paint it or leave it unpainted if you want to make it covert and use it as a stash box or piggy bank. You can put your money in there and I wouldn't suggest putting a million dollars because it's not very secure, but it works as kind of a fun little zip drive piggy bank. And finally, it's Zippy the Recycled Marionette. Yes, you can make a marionette out of a zip drive, and you'll find that project in Make Volume 13. Well, there's some stuff to do to bring new life to the outdated zip drive. And if you've done some things with it, either with the components inside or with the case, leave it in the comments. We'd love to hear your creative ideas about what you can do with an outdated zip drive. We'll see you next week with another weekend project.